Welcome to Layla Lynn TV, the channel for celebrity news and entertainment. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell so that you're notified of every new episode. On last night's episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Past the Peach Through the Shade, new housewife Shamari DeVoe revealed that she and her husband Ronnie DeVoe had an open relationship at one point and that she slept with two women while married to her husband, R&B superstar Ronnie DeVoe. During the episode, Shamari complained about Ronnie's womanizing ways to his mother and described to the other housewives how she became bi-curious during a bad patch in their marriage. She said, quote, I slept with two different women during that time. He probably slept with about 10. And she said, I started the open relationship and I stopped the open relationship. I realized that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Shamari explained the open relationship lasted about a year and a half and she said, I initiated the open marriage. We were going through some really bad times and there was this girl I was interested in at the time and I wanted to do something different. I was by curious. Now here is where Missy Elliott's name comes in again. MTL News reports, quote, Shamari DeVoe from the Atlanta Housewives was involved in a lesbian relationship with hip hop star Missy Elliott, according to one of Missy's close friends. Last night on the Atlanta Housewives, Shamari opened up about her same-sex relationships in the past. According to Shamari, she had quote-unquote open relationships in the past and has had relationships with women. One of those women was Missy Misdemeanor Elliott. According to one of Missy's friends, Shamari and Missy were a couple about a decade ago. Missy and Shamari's relationship was before her marriage to husband Ronnie, claims the insider, and it didn't last long either. Missy had a lot of girlfriends back then. Now this is not the first time that Missy Elliott's name has been dragged into a Real Housewives of Atlanta storyline. Just last season, Shamia accused Eva of having dated Missy Elliott and asked her how her fiancé felt about it. Uh, um, Eva, is your boyfriend okay with you dating women as well come again let's be clear she doesn't know me from adam so she claims that this is her way of getting to know me like this is way too personal to try to just get to know someone i thought it was open i didn't think it was like a sore spot because i thought she had taken the girl to an award ceremony at some point i didn't even know i was touching on some old untapped waters or something i think she was just like Oh, just chill. Like, I don't even think she really thought about it like that. I think she was just like, we're already talking about your baby daddy, so I'm going to ask you this. I've never dated women. I've never dated Missy. I've never dated any of these people. They're my friends. They're friends that I've had in the business for a very long time. If you want to be in this group, you got to toughen up. I had to, hell. I was accused of sleeping with Candy and Todd. And look at me. I'm still hanging out. Calm down. Whatever they did to you is what they did to you. What does that have to do with me? So to get to know me, you're asking me about my man's comfort with my sexuality. I'm so confused. No, you're being thirsty. I know that this might be new for Shamia, this thing called fame. She knows nothing about the life of an entertainer. So maybe she doesn't understand how disrespectful that is. Just that one little comment was the end of the beginning of the friendship. <laughs> I was like, well, that was quick. Did you know about this rumor that Eva is into women? I think people say that rumor about a lot of folks. Actually, everybody is gay, probably. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just joking. Now, for the record, Missy Elliott did work with the group Black around 2002 to 2003 before Shamari married Ronnie DeVoe. Missy produced a song called Ugly and a song called Freakazoid on Black's unreleased album called Torch. Now Shamari is opening up about having dated women during her marriage to Ronnie DeVoe and people are saying that the reason she divulged this information now is so that she could get in front of the story before the blogs and other people on the show found out about her open marriage and started to use it against her. But like she said, the whole open marriage thing didn't work for her and Ronnie and now they seem to have gotten past the rocky part of their relationship and their marriage is doing a lot better. And Shamari and Ronnie DeVoe now consider themselves marriage ambassadors and they try to help other couples stay married too. Check out what they had to say about their marriage in a recent interview on Sister Circle.
And yes. we're excited. Now, did you guys find, like, did you come together because you were both in groups? Like, what is your love story? How did you guys meet and come together? I think it is the music industry that brought us together. It was actually Janet Jackson. Janet Thank Jackson. you, Janet Jackson. Thank you. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. For a well. yeah. <laughs> right. Janet Jackson. Was, oh, Janet Jackson hooked us up. Yes. Wow. And Janet Jackson. 2001, she got an Icon Award. Right. Mm -hmm. And Black actually, um, you, you guys presented or something at the well, awards. Well, we walked the red carpet right, and did right, some right, press right. for that. And we did an after party for the Janet Jackson Icon Awards. And he was in the club yeah. standing next to Mr. Bobby Brown. Yes. Uh -huh. And he mm. grabbed me, and I just kind of kept walking, you know, like whatever. She you looked back and me. smiled at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We remember that story. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So he tried to talk to me. You right. know, yeah. we, we had the two-way Skytail. Two yeah. 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 We beamed each other our contact <laughs> information. Right. And yeah. so the next day we went on our first date. Yeah. And yeah. The rest is history. The rest yes. is history. We're going to find out more about that history. Yes. And their pledge to stay married for life. And we we'll return with Ronnie and Shamari. Yes. <laughs> we are back on Sister Circle Live with Ronnie and Shamari DeVoe. Who are new parents to two amazing yes. little boys. Yes, indeed. Can, can we talk about these beautiful twins you have? Oh, they they have their own Instagram so page. Yes. There we go. Right. Look at those wow. sugars. Look you see, at yo, those the exercise sugars. video was amazing. The oh, first one that we posted. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's Christmas Ronald time. and Roman right there. Yes. Wow. Hey, Bookie. How does it feel to be parents now? Because you guys were together for so long. Yes. And doing your, you know, doing your thing. Yes. And now your parents, two beautiful boys. What does this feel like it for just, you? Oh, my God. It feels amazing. Yeah. I mean, we were together for 16 years before we even got pregnant so yeah. you know now that they're here it's like a blessing from god you yes do everything i was pregnant with the twins actually during the married for life walk last wow. year yeah, yeah mm -hmm. so it was really Awesome. Did it you was, know you were pregnant? I knew I was oh, pregnant, uh -huh. but I mean, I just felt so empowered just to keep going, regardless of the pressure I was feeling yes. during the walk. I was like, let's just keep walking and, yeah. and get through it. But yeah, it's definitely, they have a story behind them. Wow. Yeah, they do. Now, the two of you have been committed to marriage ambassadors for yourselves and for others. What right. is the reasoning for this plight? Oh, what brought man. this about? Because um, I love it. I yeah, awesome. for us, it's the foundation ultimately of community, you mm -hmm. know, community and family and marriage. You know, mm -hmm. if you have a tight marriage, then you have a tight family. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, there's success in raising children when the husband and wife get along with each other yes. and they see a good example in right. front of yes. them. So Ugh. that was one of the main things that we wanted to make sure that we were spreading and using our influence and our marriage coaches and counselors, Martez and Wadrina, right. yeah. they were going through some challenges in their marriage. and. Um, God spoke to Martez and said, look, one of the ways that we're going to be able to get through this is holding each other's hands yes. and going on yes. walks That's together. Yeah. And it's such Married a powerful life, thing. Yeah. It actually releases hormones to tell the other person that you're holding your, oh, the, the hand that, right. you know, you're okay. so you hold stress hands? reliever. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you're content, you know, you're loved yes. and all the above. And we just want people to come out on April 28th yes. and join with other like-minded in individuals At and Grace making Community sure Church. that yes, the yes. sanctity of marriage is strong and that bond is right. right. So glad you mm -hmm. represent Black Love. Man. Why is that important to be an example for black love? It's, it's, just, it's just so important because we need, marriage is the backbone of family and mm -hmm. family is the foundation of the community. So mm -hmm. we need people to be married, to have children that are going to make a difference in the community, to right create people. legacies. Right. And we need that, especially in our black communities. Yes, so we do. You guys are amazing. Yes. My goodness. For more information on the march, go to Married for Life Facebook page. And of course, the conversation always continues at SisterCircleTV.com. Yes. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about Shamari DeVoe opening up about her and Ronnie's open relationship on national television. Do you think she's doing the most just to have a storyline? Or do you think she was trying to spill her own tea before the other ladies found out and spilled it for her? Leave a comment and let me know what you think and vote in the poll. As always, thanks for watching. Yeah, oh, oh, don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. <laughs> don't hurt him. <laughs>